obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate the axial flow compressor, specifically Rotor NASA 37. An axial compressor is a gas compressor that can continuously pressurize gas. It is rotating airfoil based compressor in which the gas or working fluid principally flows parallel to the axis of rotation. The energy level of the fluid increases as it follows through the compressor due to the action of a rotor blade which exerts a torque on the fluid. Actual flow compressors produce a continuous flow of compressed gas and have the benefits of high efficiency and large mass flow rate in relation to their size and cross section. In this project, we are going to simulate the airflow inside an axial flow compressor. The present model consists of a series of blades for an axial flow compressor connected to the central axis within a cylindrical area. To simplify the simulation model, only one row of rotating blades is drawn on the central rotor of the compressor. The blades rotate around the central axis at a rotational speed of 14,043 RPM. Therefore, to simulate the present model, the frame motion technique with the mentioned rotational speed has been used to simulate the airflow in the space around the compressor blade, so that the blades are assumed to be fixed without rotational speed, and the air around the blades has a rotational speed equal to the rotational speed of the compressor rotor. Also, for the compressor blade wall, the boundary condition of the moving wall with zero rotational speed has been used compared to the surrounding area. Since the compressor na nature is based on the pressure increase of the fluid, the pressure boundary condition at the inlet and outlet of the compressor has been used for proper simulation. In addition, the mass flow rate of the air passing through the compressor is 33.25 kg per second. The purpose of this project is to investigate the behavior of airflow and the pressure distribution around the blades after compression by the compressor. The present 3D model is drawn using SOLIDWORKS software and then imported into design modeler software. The geometric structure of the model consists of a cylindrical space for rotating airflow and a row of blades with a certain angle of curvature around the central rotor. The meshing of the present model is done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured and the element number is 278,162. The size of the grid in the area adjacent to the blades is a smaller and more accurate. By clicking on the Report Quality dialog box, you will see that in the Console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh quality. For example, you will see that the Fluent software will give you the orthogonal quality and as maximum aspect ratio. You may double click on the Display dialog box and a new window will appear, which, may, which gives you the ability to choose between the different parts of your geometry you want to show in the Fluent software. To simulate this project, few assumptions have been made. For example, the solver type has been chosen to be density-based because we are dealing with a compressible float. Our next assumption is that the velocity formulation is in an absolute form. Next, we have chosen this simulation to be steady, which means that the results are considered to be steady and do not change as a function of time. Our main material for this simulation is counted to be the air. By double-clicking on the air, a new dialog box will appear. You may also change the other settings based on your desire, but we highly recommend you to not change these settings. We are able to define this uh, rotating motion for the geometry by clicking on the frame motion. After clicking on this button, you will see that the dialog box will expand furthermore. Now, by just changing the speed or rotational velocity for the geometry, we will be able to finalize the setting for rotating parts. As was expected, the outer wall of this compressor is considered to be a stationary wall since these crusts do not move. And as for the thermal condition of the wall, you may see that the heat flux thermal condition is defined and also the heat flux rate is set to be zero for this wall.
After clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear and you can choose between two methods of initialization, hybrid initialization and standard. In the standard method, you will be able to choose and set the value for different parameters of the flow field based on your idea or actually you can choose from the compute from drop down list. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation process. You can go ahead and choose the all zones so that the software will automatically calculate the values averaging from all the zones. In the pressure contour, we can see that in the starting point of the blade, the pressure value is much more than the pressure of the value at the ending point of the blade. Since, by the rotation of compressor blades, the airflow will gain more velocity through the rotating frame, the pressure will drop. As can be seen in the velocity contour, by getting away from the center of rotation, as was expected, the speed of the blades will increase. And by increasing in this roll the speed, the airflow velocity will increase as well. Also, in the temperature contour, since we are dealing with compressible flows, and as argued before in pressure contour, since the pressure drops at the end of the compressor blade, uh, we would expect a drop in temperature as can be seen in this temperature contour. Finally, in the velocity vector contour, you can see the vectors of velocity and the direction the airflow moves. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide alongside the ideal gas equation, which is our main equation, and we have based our premises and assumption on this equation. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD, CFD services, services including services, simulation, including simulation consultation, consultation and training, and training contact, contact our experts via info at, info at sign mastercfd.com.